Welcome to our lecture online and now we're going to do an example that's a little bit more complicated, an example about seating people around the round table. In this case we're going to have a restriction. So we're starting out with a round table and we're trying to seat six people around that round table. First of all we're going to find out the number of permutations if there are no restrictions at all and then we're going to find the case where two of the six people cannot sit next to each other. How many different permutations of seating arrangements do we have now? So for part A, that's straightforward. We already know the equation. The number of permutations when you have six people is equal to the quantity n minus one. And I shouldn't, let me start out with the general equation first. Let's just write the n there. So if we have n people around a round table, this is only for a round table condition because if this was a rectangular table, then the number of permutations of course would be six factorial or n factorial. In this case, it's n minus one factorial. So therefore we can say that the number of permutations with six people is equal to six minus one factorial which is five factorial which is 120 different permutations if there's no restrictions at all. Well, What if there's two people that cannot sit together? Well the best way to figure that out is to take, do it this way. The number of people, so the number of permutations with two not sitting, sitting next to each other, not sitting together, we'll just put it sitting together or next to each other is equal to the number of permutations for six people with no restrictions minus the number of people where two must sit together. And the reason why we do it like this is because it's easier to find the number, number of permutations where two people must sit together as opposed to the number the, when you have a restriction where two people cannot sit together. So we'll see that in a moment. So first of all, this is easy. We already have that, that worked out right here, right? So this is simply going to be 5 factorial. So this is going to be equal to, in the case of two not sitting together, that would be 5 factorial minus, now we have to figure out what that is equal to. So how do you figure that out? Well, let's do it on the side right here. So the case is when two people must sit together, that's the condition here, right? Then they become as one unit not just a simple one unit because then they can rearrange position among themselves as well so there's actually two ways in which two people can sit together to the left of one or to the right of one okay so that means that if there's then an equivalent of this so let's say you have one two three and four people and let's say five plus six are together they act as one person that of course then have two permutations because you can go ahead and rearrange like that so now we can say for the equivalent of five people, the number of permutations with five people, that's equal to uh, five minus one factorial. But then you have to take into account that that last one person, which is basically two put together, can be arranged in two different ways. So for example, then therefore the P when two must sit together, must sit together or side by side. That is therefore going to be equal to, in this case, um, 5 minus 1 factorial times 2 factorial because we have to array, account for the fact that that unit of two people can sit in two different ways. So in this way, this is equal to 4 factorial times 2 factorial. And 4 factorial is 24, 2 factorial is 2, that means 48. Which means the number of permutations where two must sit together is 48. The number of permutations where you have six people sitting in any which way they want around the round table is 120. So this becomes 5 factorial minus 4 factorial times 2 factorial or 120 minus 48, which is equal to 72. So there's 72 ways in which six people can sit around a, a round table. Again, this is for a round table. Make sure we understand it's a round table if two cannot sit together and that's how we do that.